We're following a developing story for you out of Richland County after shocking allegations made against upperclassmen at the Richland 44 High School caused outrage. Now the school system says the Richland County Sheriff is investigating. Parents contacted our whistleblower hotline asking us to dig into this issue. Valley News Team's Emily Young joins us now with more. Emily, what did you find out? I spoke to several people today about what they say happened at Richland 44 School in Colfax. One person, a parent who didn't want to be identified because of the sensitive nature of the situation, says there were alleged ambushes by upperclassmen on 7th and 8th graders in the school. The lights supposedly turned off and the victim is held down and then violated. Parents also say they have concerns over the timeline of events. They say the athletics director, principal, and superintendent held a meeting with all the boys at Richland 44 last Thursday. Just yesterday, 30 parents showed up at the principal's office demanding answers. And just today, the superintendent sent an email to parents about the ongoing investigation. We've requested a copy of this email, but as of this broadcast, have not received it. Our whistleblower says the school has suspended five students in connection to the incident. I spoke with Superintendent Tim Gottfried today. Gottfried confirmed to me that the school conducted its own review into an incident that involved students, but no adults. The school then asked the Richland County Sheriff's Office to step in and conduct a criminal investigation. Richland Public School District number 44 recently learned of allegations of student misconduct, possibly constituting harassment, bullying, or hazing at the district's high school. We take such allegations very seriously. After conducting a preliminary review of the allegations as a cautionary measure, we have referred the matter to Richland County Sheriff's Department to conduct an impartial investigation and determine whether any criminal activity occurred. The parents also told me that three students, potentially victims, were interviewed yesterday at an advocacy center, and those interviews are expected to continue today and tomorrow. I'm Emily Young for Valley News Live. And this story was brought to our attention because many of you asked us to look into it. So if you need help uncovering fraud and corruption in your community, call our whistleblower hotline 237-6576 and leave your tip. A member of our investigative team will get on the case and go to work to expose the truth.